cozy for your standard size mug. And with this machine, you can make a cute, customizable, knitted coffee cozy in any colors you wanted. You could even put little patches or buttons on it to make it more customized for your needs. To make the cup cozy, you're going to need two balls of scrap yarn, your main color yarn. Which make sure you cast on very loosely with the Addy 22 pin machine. It tends to catch on tight in the beginning and cause issues. Put the yarn in the yarn holder. Make sure you reset the counter to zero. Go ahead and cast on a couple of rows. I went ahead and did 10 rows with the waist yarn. Take the yarn out and place the remainder in the middle of your main color yarn. Put it in the yarn feeder. Now go ahead and reset your counter to zero. Start winding 45 rows with your main color. Go ahead and cut your yarn and grab your other ball of scrap yarn. Place the working yarn inside the middle. Ensure it stays underneath that last white pin. Feed the yarn holder with your scrap yarn. And go ahead and crank out about five rows. When you've completed about five rows, take out your scrap yarn, place it in the middle, and crank around until your project comes off of your machine. Go ahead and pull it out. You're going to need a crochet hook. I'm using the five millimeter prim crochet hook. Find where you started your rows and count 11 stitches over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And that 11th stitch, put your crochet hook into it. We're going to close the tube. Now reach up to that first stitch, pull it into that first stitch that you put your hook into. Go to the bottom, go through that stitch, and also pull it through the loop on your hook. Keep alternating from the top loop to the bottom loop and pulling it through the loop that's on your hook. You should do this 22 total times. And this is what you do to close your tube for your cup cozy. When you get to your last loop, you should have that strand left. Go ahead and grab it, pull it through all the way, and it secures it. And now you can remove your waist yarn simply by pulling on the waist yarn, and it'll come right off of the project. Again, this is the end that we ended with. And next we'll work on the end that we cast on with. So go to the end that you started with. Look for where you started, you cast on, between your waist yarn and your main color, and count over 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. An 11 st stitch, put your hook in through the top, and I always start with the top loop, pull it through, and then go to the bottom loop, pull it through, continue on closing your tube in this manner until you have all 22 stitches completed. So I've got my last loop here. Next, I will grab the yarn end, pull it all the way through, pull it tight. Now, this is the end that you cast on. So in order to get rid of the scrap yarn, you're going to have to find the end and pull off that first part where it's looped on there. You just have to find that loose part of yarn and pull on it so you can undo it. And then once you undo that first part where it's looped, then you should be able to just easily undo the entire thing. The next step, you'll be using your crochet hook to make the loops on the end. It's very simple. I'll show you how to do it now. You don't need to know how to crochet to do this. All you're going to do is some chain stitches that loops to this end on each side so that I can hold on to the cup. Grab your main yarn, make a slip knot, wrap it over your fingers, make a loop, pull that yarn through the loop, pull tight, and there's your slip knot. Grab your hook and place it in the middle. Now take your end of the tube, find the last stitch, which is right here. Go ahead and put your hook in there and grab your yarn, pull it through, and then through the loop on your hook. The next thing you're going to do is chain 20. To chain 20, you will put your hook around the yarn, pull it through the loop. There's your first stitch. Grab the yarn again, yarn over, pull it through the loop. Here's your second stitch. Grab the yarn, pull it through the loop. Continue doing this in 20 chains that you've made with your crochet hook and yarn. So to count the chains again, you did your first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, plus the loop on your hook. So again, you're gonna yarn over, grab that yarn, and pull the yarn through the loop. Do that until you have a total of 20 chains. Once you've made 20 chains, make sure that it's not twisted. When if it not being twisted, find the last stitch on your project, put your hook underneath the stitch, grab the yarn, 
pull it through that stitch and then into the loop on your hook. Yarn over and pull the yarn through. And that's fastening off and then cut your yarn. So what you should have is this chain of 20 stitches on the end attached to the ends of your cup cozy. And so you'll do the same thing on this side here. What I like to do with these yarn ends is tie it together and then using a darning needle weave it inside the project. And on this side the same thing. So go ahead and grab your yarn, make a slip knot, your hook, place it inside the slip knot, pull it tight, find your last stitch, place your hook inside of it, grab the yarn, and then pull through the loop on your hook, then chain 20. Making sure that your chains are not twisted, go through the, the last stitch on your cup cozy. Grab the yarn, pull it underneath the stitch, then through the loop on your hook, pull it tight, yarn over, pull through the loop, and cut that in to fasten off. Pull away the yorking yarn, and you have your last chain. Again, tie these off and weave in the ends. And there you have it with, with just a few tools, your Eddy Express 22 pin machine, scissors, a darning needle, and a crochet hook. Easy to make, fun, knitted, coffee mug cozy for your winter needs.